Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make this wakiki bracelet. I designed it myself and you'll need about 112 rubber bands in total. You're going to need 56 blue rubber bands and 56 white rubber bands. You also need two pegs and for the two pegs I'm using two pegs on one row of pegs. You also need a hook, today I'm using a rainbow loom metal hook and a C rest loop. Today I'm using a C clip. So get your supplies and we'll begin. So to start you're gonna get your row of pegs and if you're a left-handed person you're gonna need your arrows to be pointing to your left. If you're a right-handed person you need your arrows pointing to the right and I'm a righty so my arrows are gonna be pointing to the right. You're only going to use the two end pegs and first you're going to get a blue rubber band and place it from the first one in your figure 8 to the next. Then you're going to get two white rubber bands and place it over it without laying it in a figure 8. Then you're going to get this blue bottom rubber band and hook it over the peg and just let it go. You do the same with this one. So get over it and then drop it. Now you're going to press it down and turn your row of pegs like this. Stick your hook in the end peg, take the bands off and put them on your hook. You're going to get two blue rubber bands, put them in your hook, pull them with your main middle finger and just stretch it through and just place this one over. Then you get another two white rubber bands, put it in your hook, and then pull this through again. Place this one on. Then you're going to get your last two blue rubber bands and hook them through. Like so, then you're going to turn your row like this and then place them back on. Then you're going to pull the cat band here. And then you're going to do the other side. So you're going to stick your hook in, get the rubber bands off. You're going to get two blue rubber bands, put them in your hook, and pull your hook through the white rubber bands. And place them back on. You're going to get another two white rubber bands, put them in your hook, pull them through. And then you're going to get your last two rubber bands, which are blue for me, and just put them in your hook. And stretch them through, place them back on, and then you're going to just put these on the spec, and then you're going to pull these two rubber bands. Now you're going to get two white rubber bands and place them over the two pegs again, and then you're going to get the bottom four, hook them over the peg and onto the two whites. You can do the same with these four. Have come over so that it looks like this. I'm gonna turn your loom like this again, stick your hook in the end peg, get the two whites off. I'm gonna get two blue, put them in your hook, pull them through, and place them back on. I'm gonna get another two white, put them in your hook, stretch them through, and put them in, and then put them on again. Then you're going to get your last rubber band, which are blue for me. Place them in, pull them through, place them back on. I'm going to turn your loom like this and place them back on the peg where it came from. Then you're going to do this side. And you get two blue, put them in your hook, put your hook through. Put the rubber band back on. And you're gonna get two whites. Put them in your hook. Pull them back through and place these on again. You're gonna get another last two blue. Put them in your hook and place these through. Put them back on and then place them on this peg where it came from. And just pull on the cap band. Now you're gonna get two white rubber bands them over the two 
pegs and then get the bottom four and hook them over. Now you're going to do the same thing. Turning like this, stick hook in, grab the bands off, you're going to get two blue, put them in your hook. And pull them through, put them back on, kind of get another two white, put them in your hook, put it back through, and back on, and you're going to get another two blue, put them in your hook, pull your hook through, and back on. Now you're going to turn your loom like this and just place it on the peg where it came from. And then you're going to pull on the cap in again. Now you're going to do the other side. Stick your hook through. You get two blue. Put them in your hook. Pull your hook through. And place them back on. You get another two white. Put them through. Another two blue. Last two. Place them through. And put them back on the peg. Now you're going to get two whites and place them over the two pegs. And then take the bottom four over the peg and onto the two whites. And then place these over. Now you're going to pull in the cap band and do it till you have four, I mean eight circles. And I have one, two, three. This one I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's big enough for me. But if you need a smaller size, you can do seven or six. And if you have a bigger size, you can do how many you want. I'm doing eight. So I'll be back when I've done eight. As you can see, I now finished eight circles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have the two white rubber bands on my two pegs and I'm just going to stick my hook in the last one get the bands off on your hook get in the other peg get the two bands off put them in your hook as well you don't need your bow anymore so you just can put the, it away and then you're going to get one white rubber band put it in your hook and just pull it through pull it backwards put this one on again Put it on your finger, place the C-clip in, get the other end and you're going to use the cap band and then put it in the C-clip as well. So it looks like this. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and you're going to make this awesome bracelet. Bye, see you next time.